And still in Kogi, the state governor, Yahya Bello, has inaugurated an implementation committee for the immediate takeoff of academic activities at the Confluence University of Science and Technology, Cruztech, in Osara. The inauguration followed the formal approval of the institution by the National Universities Commission, NUC. As our correspondent now tells us, the Secretary to the State Government, IRD Folashade, performed the inauguration ceremony on behalf of the Governor. It was a cheering news for the government and the people of Kogi State when, on November 10, 2020, the National Universities Commission granted approval for the establishment of the Confluence University of Science and Technology, OSARA. Inaugurating the committee, the Governor tasked the members to ensure that the specialized university commences full academic activities by the 2021-2022 academic session. Passion and the commitment and the zeal you put in getting the documents and everything ready for us to have a spirit, speech recognition that he wants you to, to put in more of that so that by next section, when students are rising jam, I mean, of course, our university, conference, university of technology will be listed among the, the universities and of course students will resume very soon. A former vice chancellor of Federal University of Technology, Mina, Professor Mohamed Salih, who is the chairman of the implementation committee, assured that the committee will deliver its mandate. We are going to work within a very limited time and of course so that the management of the university can come into uh, can, can come in to take over from us hopefully within two to three months. However, the worry among indigenous of the state is whether the state government has the financial muscles to run the two universities given the fact one is already at Aimba. For the State Commissioner for Budget and Economic Planning, Ashiwaji Idris, there is nothing to worry about. The law that established the university made provision for 5% from the local government um, allocation and 7% for the state IGR. If you look at this together, it's uh, above 250 per month. And, um, at least 250 million in a month for a project of this nature will go a long way in uh, starting the project. Not to talk of other funding that we are looking at. When fully operational, the Confluence University of Science and Technology is expected to provide employment, manpower for science, engineering and technology, as well as human resources needed to harness and manage the numerous mineral deposits in various parts of the state.